<clears throat> yeah, since the last time I've been here, man, a lot has happened. Um, I've um, actually been motivated a lot more with this music. I've been uh, um, grinding a lot harder, recorded a lot more songs. I have uh, completed my album. Um, uh, went through some things or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I definitely got my inspiration going as far as making this movement go making this process build, building my name, building my, my brand. So I'm definitely all about my business and all about this music right now at this point. My music movement is going pretty strong right now. Like uh, um, I recently uh, purchased some stickers. Uh, so I'm gonna be traveling. I got a little personal thing I'm doing. I'm gonna be traveling city to city. It's like a, a non-for-profit tour, basically establishing my name in the streets. Uh, you know, I want to filter out of just being in Indiana. You know, you don't want to just be a, a local-based uh, artist. You want to basically branch out, go other places. So uh, I'll be traveling to Colorado, uh, Nebraska, Iowa, um, New York, Atlanta. You know, of course, the major cities um, but also, whatever, you got to keep in mind those other little cities, whatever, that mean so much too, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to disclose yourself to just one specific area. You've got to target a multitude of um, art um, areas because I am a very multi-talented artist and very versatile in my lyrics. I released my new single um, entitled Can't Be Me. Uh, I released it about a week ago. Uh, very, very uh, shocked at the outcome. Uh, within two days, it already had 130 plays. Um, now, I don't know how many of those plays were just, uh, you know, repeated uh, plays or of somebody just loving the song or whatever, that they played it over and over again, or if it was 130 separate people that listened to it. But regardless of which, when you look at the numbers, to me, that means a lot. You know, um, I know I don't have 130 people that just listen to it at that very moment because my status doesn't hit everybody at one moment. So it's definitely getting out there and people are definitely feeling what I'm bringing to the table. And they are kind of vibing with my music right now. And I really, really appreciate that. What am I trying to do with this music? Um, it's a lot. Um, and a lot that people wouldn't believe if they heard it from me. But what I'm trying to do with my music is give back to those who assisted and helped me so long. Um, of course, my album that's uh, due is entitled Worth the Wait, which means I have had a lot of people waiting for this album to be released. And what I want to do with this music is um, definitely build myself up and build up communities as well um give back to the school systems or whatever to teach them that you don't have to sit up here and do drugs and all of this stuff or be a ball player uh some type of athlete in order to make it in life or whatever you could just sit up here follow your dreams and your goals whether whatever it may be but as long as you got somebody behind you mentoring you helping you assisting you that's what you know i want to basically filter back into the community or whatever and show them that they can make it. I also want to start my own company, of course. Uh, my other passion is being an iron worker, a union iron worker. So I want to honestly start my own company or whatever to give back to those workers or whatever that never really get the look from the owners as like, you guys helped me make so much money. I want to give back to those guys as well, whatever. So I'm doing a lot with my music. It's not for the fame of Bugattis and Ferraris or whatever. I'm not trying to do that. I'm definitely trying to do something that's positive for my community and for myself. What inspires me to continue when I'm not getting paid? You know, that's, that's a good question. Because I never got paid for anything other than the work that I put out. And when you look at this music or whatever, it's also a job, you know, it's like a second career. And uh, the, the inspiration just comes from the people that, like I said, that supported me this whole time. Their belief that I can actually make it 
somewhere or whatever to be that famous person, to be that person that's saying, hey, I know that guy and be on the radio. It's their belief in me, their strength and their motivation that they give me that keeps inspiring me to constantly keep making new and updated material to see how just how far I possibly can go. Basically, my inspiration is just not letting my people down. I don't feel like I can make it. I know I can make it. I know they always say that like uh, it's about getting your music in the right person's hands. Well, I don't want to put it in the right person's hands because the right person these days is in the industry. And I'm not really for the industry, I'm for the people. So I put it in the people's hands and I let the people decide. It's a democracy that we live in anyway. So let the people decide whether or not I should continue or not. So I definitely think that if I go by the people's rule, I definitely can make it. Yeah, I had a, uh, I had a manager um, a little while back um, that was supposed to assist me, you know, with uh, my music client. Um, didn't really uh, make it as far as uh, I thought it would. But, you know, the business is uh, very risky. You take risks. Um, every decision that you make has a consequence. So you basically, uh, like, just as I'm doing this interview right now, I'm taking the chance that this may or may not be seen by the right person. It may or may not be filtered right from the uh, from these people that may see this video. They may sit up here and look at it one way when I can be taken when it can be taken another. So everything in this business, everything with music, everything in life has a consequence. And that was a risk or whatever that I took and I'm definitely paying for the consequences, but it made me a hell of a better person. I'm definitely struggling um, to make my music heard and it brought my hustle higher. Definitely made me grind hard. Oh man, this album is uh, so dope. Uh, I'm glad it's, it's finished. Um, I have a uh, production by uh, Beat Fanatic, um, Team Green, uh, Ripley. Um, I don't want to leave nobody out. There's so many on there. Uh, Superstar O, Majestic uh, Drama uh, from Track Officials. So uh, Nine Diamond is also on this album. Um, I have featured that, uh, artists on here. Uh, Federo, uh, talented singer. Talented singer. Very talented singer. I have a, a track with uh, uh, Wills and um, uh, Hood, Tala. Um, There's a lot of collaborations on here. Um... It's definitely an album that, <laughs> as its title states, worth the wait. Like, it has so much. It, it has passion. It has hard hitters. It has motivational speakers. It has so much built into one album. Like, it's just not compiled about one main thing. Like, you're going to pick this up or whatever, and you're going to be shocked. Because you're going to hear so much versatility coming from one person. That is just gonna shock you. So it's definitely gonna be worth the wait. Um, well, before you know this interview closes out, I definitely wanna uh, thank God um, for blessing me with not only the talent that I'm given, but also life again. And it was in this rebirth that. I realized what I needed to do, how I needed to make that action possible, and just continue my movement strong. And um, I also want to thank all of the supporters, everybody that's been following me. I ain't going to let y'all down. I'm doing this for y'all. This is no longer for me anymore. It's all about y'all.